wave your hats, your handkerchiefs. They're waving at you. The cars and stars of the Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series. Starting box. Green flags out. Boucher and Johnson side by side down the front straightaway into turn number one. Boucher has a half car length advantage on Johnson. Johnson on the outside, right with him. Trying to make it happen on the outside. Brandon right there in third. William Thomas up to fourth. Richie Stevens in fifth. Brandon looking to the inside of Johnson as they work into turn number one. Down the back straightaway, it's Boucher opening up about a four car length advantage over Johnson. Here comes Brandon on the bottom. Can't make the move. He's got William Thomas right behind him in fourth. Richie Stevens still holding down the fifth spot. Tim Boucher still out in front. Ronnie Johnson second, still got Brandon with him. Brandon again looks to the inside. Johnson with the momentum off the high side of turn two. He'll pull him a car link down the back straightaway. Thomas makes the pass on Brandon. He's up to third, now trying to chase down Ronnie Johnson in car number five. Boucher still with a half straightaway lead. Here's Thomas on the bottom in turn two. Johnson will hold him up down the back straightaway. Thomas again, inching, trying to get underneath Ronnie Johnson, their wheel to wheel in turn three. Thomas throws the slider, he'll make the pass off of four. Now Thomas has cleared the lap traffic, sets his side on the race leader. Tim Boucher coming up on the halfway point. Tim Boucher with a five car length advantage over William Thomas. Thomas running second. A double zero, Richie Stevens in third, Ronnie Johnson in fourth. Brandon in the fifth spot. Then Chase Edge running six. We've got caution on the speedway. And we got one that's had a problem over in turn four. Number four, he'll pick up the pace. Green flags out. O'Shea leads off a turn two with Thomas in second. Richie Stevens in third. David Brandon running in the four spot, but here comes Ronnie Johnson on the inside. Johnson back to the four spot. And Brandon and Johnson get together on the back straightaway. Brandon off the pace. He'll lose several spots. Tim Boucher out in front, but William Thomas beginning to close. He's within four car lengths in, moving closer. Boucher closing in on the lap car, Brad Smith. Smith gets the move over flag. William Thomas is there, looks to the inside in turn two. They're side by side down the back straightaway into turn number three. Here they come off the fourth turn, side by side up front for the lead. Thomas on the inside, Boucher on the outside, and Thomas will take the lead. And something wrong with Boucher's car as he slows down the back straightaway. 
Caution flag coming out. Caution flag out on the speedway is something went wrong with Tim Boucher's car after William Thomas made the pass for the lead in turn two. Boucher's car cut down a right rear tire. So Boucher limps into the pit area, three laps under caution. Here they come, green flags out. And Chase Edge on the move in the bottom. He'll move underneath Ronnie Johnson. Johnson runs out of real estate on the high side. He'll be in the bottom in three and four. Tim Boucher on the move in the outside. He's by Turner for the seventh spot. Now moving up on Brandon, running in sixth. William Thomas out in front. Richie Stevens second. Chase Edge third. Tim Boucher trying to climb up into the sixth spot. Boucher around the outside of Brandon, up to sixth. Laps winding down. Five laps to go, 45 down, five to go. William Thomas pulling away from Richie Stevens, looking for his second straight win. Richie Stevens second, Chase Edge third, Ronnie Johnson fourth. Brent Barrett in fifth, but he's got his hands full with Tim Boucher. Here comes your leader, up the fourth turn, down to the checkered flag, William Thomas takes the win. Richie Stevens 